CSS modules versus style components is our, our next one. Um, so again, anyone that kind of wants to take us away. Sure, I can go ahead. Um, for this one, I tend to lean more towards to style components. It is, for me, it's easier uh, reusable style components uh, in the end. It helps us developers to reuse these same styles in different part of the application with certain components. Uh, not that CSS modules are bad, like mm -hmm. SAS or less, but in terms of the amount of code that we are writing and in the application, then with CSS modules, it tends to be that, that you have to have a CSS file and then you have to inject it into the component. While having style components, you write your style component and then you use it in the, whatever you want. But I, I tend to only add uh, components when I feel the need. For example, uh, if I'm building a UI kit, of course, I'm going to style components, hands down, and then that's it. But sometimes, uh, for example, to add uh, libraries related to animations, uh, mm -hmm. style components require some some overhead, some special yep. rating mm -hmm. to uh, in order to, to apply some things that rely on on. on so uh, sometimes uh, style components can add some overhead to the, to the development and uh, something that uh, I analyze a lot before choosing. So it's just like Redux. I don't just put it yeah. right in without first analyzing the requirements. Yeah, cool. That makes sense. Francisco, same same thing. Do you have a do you have kind of a favorite, a way that you lean? Well, I prefer style components because uh, uh, for me, it's like a really easy to, to inherit uh, styles and to share style between other components. Uh, I would like to add that this type of uh, solution uh, they are great because they help us. Every every develop, front end developer knows that uh, with CSS we have the specificity problem and the scoping mm -hmm. problem. And um, the way they they fix this, or maybe the, the solution they offer, is like uh, for us is don't worry about that and just. Uh, uh, continue with your CSS, and um, that's that's like a, a something that, that that we don't need to take care uh, of like anymore, like uh, dealing with maybe this type of uh, nightmares. Yeah. But uh, uh, one of the things also that, uh, for example, I prefer from style components is the way we can share like our JavaScript state with the styles. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes with CSS model, uh, it's not like uh, that easy, but uh, the, the way they connect, the, you can connect props with the styles. That, that's amazing. Yeah, uh, and then I was actually just going to ask, uh, since we have comments coming in from from YouTube uh, and LinkedIn. If anyone had any questions, we actually just got one. I personally haven't heard of this, um, but have you tried stitches from modules? Is, is anyone familiar? I haven't. No, nope, haven't no, heard of it. Me neither. Interesting. Yeah. Sadly, I don't have anything to add on either. But yeah, something to uh, something to, to look into. Um, now I have homework. Yeah, yeah we all have. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, but yeah, for anyone uh, listening, um, although we weren't able to uh, to elaborate on that one, anyone that has questions, go ahead and throw them in. We'll try to try to get them in here. I always like to be able to uh, you know to kind of either answer questions or just spark more uh, more conversation. Sort of. Uh, you know, as we uh, as we go, but that's interesting. So I'll be I'll be looking for those.